Welcome back. Finally got some time uh, putzing in the shop a little bit. Sure is nice out. Yesterday I think it was a record record setting uh, temperature, I believe. But we've been busy, not doing any sled stuff really, but got everything home now. Terminator's back home, had spent oh, a few weeks by Brad. I built a new hitch for it. I'll show you that here in a minute. But you can see here, he, Cut some holes in the front of the buckboard where the hitch goes inside of. Get the pins and everything on the back side. So we're going to be getting rid of this uh, this deck here on where we haul the weights on this truck and going with a regular style hitch, like a removable gooseneck, you call it, like a low boy trailer. Um, that's where we'll haul our weights and that. So I'm going to take them toolboxes off. These toolboxes got spare parts and what have you. So tools on the other side. I'm going to take them off and actually I'm going to mount them on that new hitch. Um, but if anybody's looking for a, a deck like this to go on a semi, it just hooks underneath on the on the fifth wheel. It sits on the frame. It's got a piddle hitch on the back, but you could put whatever style hitch you want. It's got the airlines on the back. Electrical ran to the back, all LED lights. I'd like to sell that if anybody is interested in it. I uh, still haven't got anything washed up. I should really take advantage of nice weather and get that done here in the next day or so. Take a walk out to the barn. Uh, Kevin, buddy of mine, we drove down with my Kenworth semi and we loaded that hitch up that Brad built and then we picked up the Terminator and the orange freight liner that was by Scott in the, in the hoop barn by him and we brought it all home I think that was last Sunday we did that uh, here's a Kenworth and the hitch Brad built for us I've got to finish up put the lights in it's got all the holes cut for lights I gotta wire it put them in put the hydraulics on the back here for lifting to lift it up then we'll mount down in here Airlines got to run and then put the pump the hydraulic pump will sit right in his back corner here um, The young man had a, did a nice job painting it. We picked it up from the painter So That'll be a winter project get that all wired up plumbed and everything Got all this other stuff to put away too Scrapers get cleaned up we usually take the tanks off power wash them all out blow all the water lines out so they don't freeze over the winter. Scales get cleaned up. We got a running gear back here. I put the scales on. This running gear I'm going to put that hitch on when I wire it. Well, one of our sponsors is here now from Channel Seats. So I'm going to meet with him. See if we make a deal for next year. I just got back from lunch with our Channel Seats rep. Worked out a deal again for next year. Channel Seats here is going to remain a Sponsor on our two sleds we're running next year. Um, we'll have the decals on the side of the box like that and the flags we fly. Uh, flags will have to get washed up again for next year. This one's already been washed up. We fly these flags on the sled as you've seen. So that's good. It's good we're able to get support, um, give them the exposure they like, and it helps to keep us going too. So. I guess we'll get to start getting things unloaded here um, and then start washing since it's nice out. I'm supposed to get my lawn planted today too, I'm waiting for them to show up. It's supposed to rain tomorrow so hopefully I can get my lawn and stuff put in before the rain. Get that taken care of before the end of the year. Well next thing we're going to do, we're going to take these toolboxes off the back of this truck here that are mounted on this rack I'm getting rid of. Like I said I'm going to mount these toolboxes on. Uh, the new hitch so I thought as long as I got to empty all these out I'd show you guys kind of what I carry along during the season oh, it's my pager fire department I thought I'd show you guys what I all carry along in here uh, for spare parts and stuff a bunch of extension cords bring along um, them are mostly for plug the truck in so plug in here and then I'll run the air conditioning, the refrigerator and stuff that's in there, the lights, the battery's charged. 
Um, if I go somewhere that's got power to plug into instead of running the generator the whole time, which is nice, but not always the case. And then also have some cords. I'm gonna end up dropping something here. Bring some cords. Uh, they used to plug the speed and distance boards in if we had power. Next, this guy here. This guy is an electric actuator um, that is used on the back rear end of the sled. This shifts and will uh, shift that rear end into neutral and then into gear so we can back up down the track. Uh, I have had issues with, if I remember correctly, there's some switches underneath this cover. And what happens is that motor runs until it hits that switch and it stops, so that switch broke. And then that rear end did not disengage when I went down the road. And I ended up wrecking the clutch that brings the weight box back and forward. So we carry a spare one of them. Uh, luckily I didn't have to use that at all this year, but I have had to use that in the past. So that's why I carry one of them along. Here, I'll bring this to the bench and show you guys what's on here. Uh, here we got some limit switches. This is the switch that um, when the box comes by, it trips this switch. I've never really had one of these switches fail, but I did have these uh, spring actuator type thing break. Um, and here's a solenoid, electric solenoid, that powers things like when you turn the key on. Uh, constant duty, solenoid or relay, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have had one of those fail this year. Luckily it was at the end of the pull. And then this switch, basically the same as this other one, but this one springs back. This one is for to trip the box out of gear when it gets all the way to the front. And it also um, activates the push down for the hydraulics. So a couple spares of those in the splitter for the extension cords. Um, and here, this is a long socket I made. I cut a socket apart, welded a piece of pipe. This is for tightening the chains, removing the box chains. This allows you to get underneath, underneath the uh, box, the weight box, to loosen the chains up, remove them. Use that more than I care to this year. That was our biggest problem. We broke a couple chains this year. Jump up in the middle here. In here we've got belts, jumper cables. Are all the different belts. Uh, this double wide one here, that's for the fan, for the air cooled doits. Um, these other ones are air conditioning, air compressor, and alternator belts. And then of course we have this big one. It's just a used belt we've had, um, but we take that along. That's the main drive belt that uh, drives the sled from the engine to the transmission. Got a length of chain here, in case the guy would need a piece of chain. And that toolbox has got some miscellaneous bolts and fasteners, different types of stuff in it. Oh, now we're on the driver's side. Um, there's a toolbox in here. But what do we all got in here? Some rags up here. Um, there's some cord, spare cords for the um, scale. It's hand cleaner up there somewhere I know. Right in here, here we got chain links. This was our big, we broke one on each sled, basically, connecting links underneath the bottom of the box. So that's something we look at this winter. I did make, made a new kind of link for the Terminator. Um, I gotta inspect that a little bit closer. I think that's a pretty good fix. 
if everything looks good we're going to apply that to the public enemy as well so that's something to look forward to this winter to get resolved but we just got regular hand tools and stuff in here um here's another one of them solenoids some air fittings bare clasp for break the cable shut off cable i believe there's one of them up on top here too some more tools oh yeah plug in these seem to get wrecked I got to use these for the plug in from the scale to the monitor so we'll get that out of there the whole toolbox out of there and uh, so we can get these removed and then this little door here um, this has got I keep my sled monitor in here and then our bag I do I plug this in there's a plug-in in here so it charges recharges the battery for the scale while we're going down the road camera skills aren't very good holding on camera and working but got a battery and the scale head in there and then a battery pack also something I have is uh, two-way radios all the sleds have two-way radios and then I have a, a handheld that I can give to either the announcer or someone that's doing a lineup so they can communicate when we're switching classes so we kind of know what's going on that can be really handy so I'll finish getting everything cleaned up here and I'm going to get them toolboxes removed and hopefully get everything unloaded so we can get stuff put away. interested in this I'd like to sell it put a comment on the video and uh, I'll give you my contact information hey you could pull a camper behind it whatever you like turn your semi basically into a flatbed oh finally got everything all unloaded just showed you how that hitch came up there so now we're gonna do some washing we're gonna stack all this stuff in the barn to get the barn all closed up for winter Oh, I think I'll end the video there. You guys just know what it's like to watch and run a power washer. Um, so we'll keep you updated as winter goes. Videos will be a little bit slower. As we start taking stuff apart and going through, I'll try and explain how things work, why they are that way, stuff like that. Um, and again, make sure you subscribe to the videos. It really helps out to uh, get our page to grow. Or our channel, I should say. Oh, till then, we'll see you in the next one.